and welcome back to Tractor Pulling in Sweden. We move on to the 3.5 ton Pro Stock class where we've had just two rounds so far and two different winners. Season one in Denmark and Red Hot took the honours in Bernay. And as they go round with the popcorn and sweets and peanuts, we go on with the pulling. Here's the first from Finland. This is Pekka Hurleby with Sigma Power. Should be one of the strongest valmets. and he's really trying to make that point. What an excellent run from the Finn. A full pull, and he seems to have got Sigma Power really dialed in now. And that was certainly a nice way to start this class. His total distance, 107.66. It's really been a contrast in the weather. Yesterday it was raincoats and jumpers, and today, well, just about anything goes. Now this is Blue Band Mino from Denmark. It's a Ford 8430. And in this class, only one turbo allowed. Neil Damgore has been experimenting with lots of different parts to get Bambino running really well. But running out of steam just in sight of the 100 metre mark. Close, but not close enough. 94.28 the distance for the day. The ten teams in this event, four from Denmark, three from Finland, and one each from Great Britain, Norway, and Holland. This is the next. Booker Bruiser from Denmark, a case international with Jakob Jensen behind the wheel. Oh, and Jakob is in trouble. Not able to get going. He is out of the competition. 9.42, the distance for Bucker Bruiser. And he can see the next to pull is Johanna Hurley. And the Valmet called Doris from Finland. Lovely young lady. She'll be working with her tractor company in the customer relations department at the end of the season, I understand. European champion in this class two years ago. Oh, and that doesn't sound too clever. Sounds like the turbo going on strike. So Johanna well short of 100 meters and she'll be disappointed with that run of 87.04. Hurrying back to the... Now from Great Britain, this is the current leader in the points table. Red Hot, a tractor that Peter Clark bought last winter in the States and he's having a lot of success with it. Peter driving this class and Jeff Ashcroft will be on red alert in the super stocks a bit later. Taking his time to build up the revs. Wandering a bit on the track to his right. But a nice controlled pull. And that is our second full pull, so we have a really good final. Nice run from Peter. Seem to be holding back a little, so maybe he has more in reserve for the pull-off. But a full pull for the bridge. Now we come to the only Dutch entry. It's Wiki Power with Adri van den Wieken. His best result so far was fifth place in the last Pro Stock round in France. But he'll be hard-pressed to repeat that today with his Ford 9600. Hasn't got the same speed as Red Hot. And now he's beginning to slow. And he'll be in the middle 80s with that run. 84.53 for Wiki Power. There's Johanna and her mother Anna Hurleby waiting at the finish. The cameras at the ready. That's for Matty Hurleby and Caesar. He won the first round in Denmark and is currently second in the points table. Needs a full pull to maintain his challenge for the title. Quite fast over the early stages. All but rapidly losing power at the end. And that's only round about 90 metres for the third of the fins. 88.85. Now let's get a prediction from Peter Clark. Yeah, I think the, um, the early pulls were, were better and easier than it is now. It's uh, churned up a little bit, and I can't really see any more full pulls coming. At the moment, anyway. 
And judging by your results uh, from the previous uh, encounters with uh, the Valnet, then you must be pretty confident. Well, we're pretty confident with that tractor, but you can never tell what's going to happen. And uh, he ran pretty strong. He looked really impressive. So we just wait and see. Well, three more to pull, and this is Hans Eric Gamelbu from Denmark with Hercules. His tractor's an Ursus. came from what used to be Czechoslovakia. And this looks promising. Oh, but then the engine blew and he ground to a halt round about 80 metres again. 78.16 for the day. John Deere is also from Denmark and a nice paint job there. John Deere's are traditionally green, but in the Superstock class, MP Lift is painted blue. We'll see him a bit later on. Michael Galsgore, the driver, on his way. Let's see how he fares when the weight box reaches the end of the sledge. Not too well. And he's also in the 80s. 83.35, which is seventh place at the moment with one more to pull. And here he is. Devon Klingsound with Tonya Harding from Norway, named after the American skating star who did naughty things, and he gets his name because he was the seventh child in the Klingsound family. Okay, number seven, time to do your stuff. Well, you can see his foot working the brake pedals to keep him on course. Oh, and he'll be quite close to Maddie Hurlaby with that run. Let's see the distance now. 87.63, just behind, but fifth overall. And I wonder if she'll have finished her woolly by the end of the pull. Anyway, just two full pulls. Red Hot with Peter Clark and Pekka Hurlevy with Sigma Power. Now, before the pull-off, let's talk to Johanna Hurlevy. Johanna, it wasn't your day today. Not my day today. But we have to wait and see how our daddy do. So, yeah. What was wrong with yours? It sounded a bit like a turbo. Yeah, same as yesterday. Now we, yesterday I broke a turbo, and today we had a little bit different, but again the same problem. And Very careless of you. Sorry? Very careless of you. <laughs> and so did my brother as well, so uh, I don't know, we have to now go home and think a little bit what to do now. So, let's see what Daddy can do. It's his first real season in pro stock. He's been in super stocks where he was European champion three times. Oh, and stopping very suddenly. Whether it was the extra three tons in the weight box or a problem, I don't know. But he has to settle for 71.16. And if Peter Clark can beat that, he'll build up a really useful lead in the points table. Gradually building up the revs, and Red Hot is rolling. Oh, and he's really fast. No problem passing the mark set by Sigma, and that is our winner today. Red Hot was too hot to handle for Sigma Power on this occasion. 83.23 the distance, over 12 metres ahead of the fin. Blue Bambina was third, and importantly for Peter, Caesar was relegated to fourth. And here we can see the effect on the points table. Red Hot with a 13-point lead now, and Sigma passes Caesar to move into second place. So Niels. Peter and Pekka take their bow. We'll take a short break. 3.5 ton super stocks are next, so stay with us. 